Hey guys, the Halloween season is finally upon us. And with that, we're going to do a chat and draw video today, starting the month with one of my favorite spooky and yet very sexy creatures, vampires. I have a few drawings planned for this month and one of them is based out of one of my favorite books and also movies, so I can't wait for that because it's definitely going to be the Halloween special, so I really cannot wait for that. I know I normally show you guys the whole sketching process and there's a lot of erasing. Please, there is a lot of erasing. There's no way you're not going to tell me there was too much erasing. And due to that, I'm trying something new. But if you guys do prefer the longer videos with the a lot of erasing, please let me know down below in the comment section. Also, I would love to know, what's your favorite Halloween monster or creature? I might just, well, let's say, draw them this month. So let me know which one you guys are maybe even dressing up for this Halloween. I would love to know. I used my favorite water and fade proof fine liners from Unipin. I used 0 0.8, 0 0.4, and 0 0.1 for the smaller and finer details. I have to buy new ones. I really need to buy new ones. My 0 0.1 is kind of fading away into the dark, unfortunately. Yeah, and with all that sad news, <laughs> um, the reasons why I chose vampires for the first video is because, well, they're one of my favorites, like all time creatures, monsters, whatever you want to call them. And I just love everything to do with vampires. I even um, play um, Vampire Masquerade, which is in a D and D for literally vampires. So it's really fun. Um, I also love them because of movies and series and I remember watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the first time when I was around like seven or eight and it became one of my favorite TV shows. Even with all the controversies um, these days, I still love the gateway that that show opened up to me, especially around vampires and yes, David Buriazzi's character Angel was my crush. He is, I think he until today is my crush. I think one of the reasons I watched Bones was because of him. <laughs> so I simply love vampires. I own the Dracula books. I say books because there is a book, a uh, book publisher here in Brazil who made like two two copies of the Dracula book, which I actually am very thankful for because it has bigger fonts. <laughs> Thank God, because the original one that I got was had like tiny little fonts and it was very annoying to read, but thank God the, the fonts were bigger and I just, I loved it. I simply love it. And that is technically why I chose vampires for, well, being the first part, the first video of October <laughs> to start off Spooky Tober. I'm gonna call it Spooky Tober. I don't care anymore. Um, but yeah, that's one of the reasons I decided to go with the vampires. And I also chose colored pencils. Um, I have been using colored pencils for the f for a really long time now, and I also now own markers. So. We will have a really nice video with markers and I cannot wait to show you guys the artworks that I made with the markers. But coloring pencils. I know a lot of people get this whole idea of coloring pencils being very hard to use. Honestly, I also used to think that because when I used to, like years ago, I used to draw a lot. My art wasn't as pleasing as it is now. Well, at least that's what I kind of think. Um, but I, I really had 
this issue with coloring. Like when it comes to shading with um, graphite, I have no problem with that. I really love the shading and finding out the light sources, which helped me a lot. I guess you could say my fear of coloring years ago made me literally learn a lot about shading or color values. And the one thing that I know that a lot of you out there probably have is problems with coloring in because we we do get scared and I'm not gonna lie because I used to as well get scared of coloring our artwork and putting in our heads that we are going to ruin the drawing right after <laughs> we have finished the sketch and sometimes that isn't the case but sometimes it is I'm not gonna lie sometimes it it, it, it is the case yet if you never try you will never get there and that's what I started doing I started trying I started finding love for realism which is the one thing that really got me into colored pencils and learning how to use the one thing that digital artists use all the time just that we don't have a control Z <laughs> which is layering layering colored pencils is one of the best things you could possibly ever do when learning i know that sometimes it is good for you to start out from the, the darkest parts to the lightest parts but sometimes especially if you're a beginner and you have no clue where you're going where you're going with the drawing you don't know where your lighting source is going to be it is best for you to simply start out from light to dark so you can see where you want your dark points in the picture like in your art to be i understand that completely because i normally still do that today with my original drawings because it's something that you know i take out out of my head and even so when i use references sometimes i don't like to use the light source that from the reference i use like from the pose i don't like to use that reference light source and that literally makes the whole layering and the building up that you're gonna do in your art be so much better yeah that's simply what you guys should be doing is simply layering after layer after layer it will make your life so much better in such different ways that okay it will take some time but hear me out taking your time whilst you are producing your art is good i know that sometimes you want to be finished with an artwork like two three okay i think three hours is kind of fat kind of like a long time but mostly like at least two hours sometimes even less but the process you take just to create your artwork in a nice slow and calm environment I think it's the best therapy ever and I guess that's why I like to take my time whilst I'm coloring whilst I'm layering the colors even like picking out the colors sometimes I also like to take my time because it's 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 not only just a process it's actually very calming um i think a lot of you guys know i have a lot of stress and anxiety um i think i've said that in a couple of videos and the one thing that got me away from the stress and the anxiety and sometimes literally emptied my head from all of the nonsense that you could possibly get from the real world today was sitting down and taking my time drawing drawing coloring painting just relaxing i know that sometimes i would like to finish an artwork a bit faster i'm not gonna lie but that's kind of just part of life i guess once i start to sketch and i start choosing the character and what I want the character to be or just 
simple having fun or just winging it <laughs> sometimes just winging it and see what comes out um it is actually very calming and i think we should actually just appreciate that time just to sit there and color extremely slowly if we can just go with it and just be happy in that moment because if you guys have like the same things i do then coloring is just going to help you empty your head it actually when you finish your piece you are literally gonna be filled with so much calm and you're gonna be so relaxed it's mostly the reason why sometimes when you get a creative outburst you never want to stop drawing you never want to finish coloring or even finishing a piece it's simply because of that adrenaline that feeling of okay i did this it's over why is it over and just and you're just happy and that is the one thing that a lot of artists need to learn some of them already have you know taking your time and just enjoying your art is just one step closer to just living your life and eventually living your dream as well so that is one reason why i simply love taking my time coloring i just i love it it's a form of therapy for me i guess coloring i even own a coloring book like an adult coloring book so yeah it's just therapy <laughs> yeah so you can't always just be in a rush to do all your artwork though if you do commission work then you kind of have to speed well you don't have to speed your time you just have to manage your time to apply all your techniques into it so keep that in mind because that is a very very important point in commission work but i mean i'm not gonna lie i did promise that i was not gonna use cerulean blue again as undertone for a skin because it made them too ashy and yet i used the same blue again i will not lie i actually liked the way it ended up because he looked like because he looks very pale and you know the weird thing i have not named him and i honestly don't know what to name him yet if you guys have any name suggestions leave them down in the comment or else i'm going to have to i'm going to name him gene there gene there i gave him a name it's done game over <laughs> It's over. It, he became a character now. I wonder what his backstory would be like. Hmm. I'll think about something. Maybe one day I'll tell you. Huh. But either way, I really enjoyed um, drawing and sketching and coloring this piece for the simple fact that one, he's a boy and I do not. And I mean, I do not draw boys. And I got in into the whole, you need to draw something either than girls. Because it's actually fun and because it's also getting out of my comfort zone. So I tend to, if I am too comfortable drawing something, I will like to start introducing some new things into my art. So now I have, I literally, had no clue how to draw boys it was very terrible it was really bad really 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 bad <laughs> i don't i don't actually think i i think i only own like one picture of a boy i drew attempted to draw like once or maybe i, I have another one but i normally do not draw boys and this is one thing i really liked because i got out of my comfort zone and i really enjoyed coloring him though i'm not gonna lie i have this thing with hair i like drawing hair strands 
Ever since I learned how to do hair strands, I just simply, I just like to take the incredibly long route to doing hair. I could just sketch out and then color, you know, like shade everything in where I want it to be dark and then just add in like those little final details. Unfortunately, I don't work that way. I really love just taking my time and drawing each hair strand, especially the dark tones. It just brings so much life into the hair, especially because the blue isn't so vivid in the video, unfortunately. But soon, all of that is going to be a thing of the past. Mm. Secrets. I got secrets. I got a lot of secrets. But yeah, um, <laughs> moving back into what I was saying. But yeah, I really enjoyed coloring in the hair strands and just taking my time building it up because it's, it's just something, it, I think it's just a technique that I know I could do better and faster but I like to do it it's actually very calming seeing myself just like doing the strands having fun understanding the flow of the hair and where I want it I'm not gonna lie I would have changed his hairstyle if I had too so i maybe i wouldn't have done such like a i don't know i don't really remember what this hairstyle was called but i think nick carter from backstreet boys uh he used to have a similar haircut so i really enjoyed like these sort of haircuts on boys and i'm really into k-pop <laughs> And I'm also getting back into K-pop, thank god. I actually missed it a lot. And I think one of the things that I most adore out of their hairstyles is when they have this kind of cut. I just I just think it's so sexy. I don't know. I like it. It's it's a it's a me thing. I just I really enjoy it. Well, on the color notes, I I just chose most of the colors because I wanted him to I don't really, I don't like matching the hair with the clothes but I actually simply just winged this one I literally just picked up the colors that were that were kind of calling to me I guess I just looked at it and I was like okay I'm gonna make his jacket like ashy blue or and then I, I went with that. I made his jacket ashy blue and I went with that. Um, his shirt, his, it was supposed to be brown. And then I was like, no, he's going to completely fade out if I do something like that. So I just made it deep red. I just put like a red on top of it and it made it kind of became like blood red. So it kind of matched what I wanted into like the vampire style and the one thing that I would change I would literally put like little droplets of blood on his lips just to give him the vampire style and what I mostly enjoy and love about vampires yet I didn't do that so kind of just a little bit kind of made me a bit sad not gonna lie but either way, let me tell you guys something really cool. When I was, what, in grade five, maybe? Maybe grade five, six? Yeah, it was, I, was, I lived in Durban, South Africa back then. I used to have a nickname, which my nickname in school was Buffy because I was obsessed with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So, yes, there. I said it and thus since I was seven or eight my love for vampires and so our time is coming to an end <laughs> no no it's not I'm just messing with you guys but 
I will be leaving you guys with this nice chill relax song so you guys can appreciate the rest of the artwork and I hope you guys have an amazing day don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment and subscribe for more awesome videos and I'll see you guys next time bye guys